All right, so what we talked about is when we have an ellipse, we talked about, ladies and gentlemen, that a parabola, the definition of a parabola was a set of points that are equal distance from the foci, um, or to the focus, to the directrix. The definition of a circle was equal distance from the center to any point. And now the definition of our ellipse, all right, is going to be, if you guys, now we see our A, B, and C, right? So the definition of an ellipse is now we have a point A and B and C. So we know that this distance is B and this distance is A. The definition of an ellipse, all right, is the sum, all right, and you have your C, okay? The definition of an ellipse is going to be the sum of any point. You can crawl. What? Oh, okay, you can stay there then. So if I pick a point, all right, the definition of an ellipse is going to be, actually we have two, two foci, foci, right? So the definition of ellipse is the distance of these two points is always going to equal a constant that will be exactly the same. It doesn't matter where this point is. So if I pick another point, the sum of the distances to both of my um, foci are always going to equal the same value. So if I pick a point here, again, the sum of the distances from any point on an ellipse to each foci is always going to equal the same value. Okay. That's your definition of your ellipse. Now, how does that kind of help us out as far as um, with this? Well, let's, let's go and take a look at this distance right here. Let's go and take a look at these two lines. I know that the sum of these two lines is going to equal the sum of these two lines, which will equal the sum of these two lines, right? Now, if I was just going to kind of pull apart that triangle real quick, Right, because I pretty much grabbed our two triangles. We know that this distance is C, right? And then this distance is B, correct? Yeah. Now, what if I want to figure out what is going to be this distance? It'd be what? Yeah, you're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So I can create a right triangle so we can say this squared, so we could say, Let's call this A. So what you could say is C squared plus B squared equals A squared. Yes? Now, let's think about that. What about if I chose my point? Remember, every single one of these lines, every single one of these lines is equal, right? It doesn't matter if I'm adding up these two points or these two points. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at, so if we know that these two are going to equal your a squared. Um, what about if I had my point? You guys could obviously see that uh, these will also equal your a. So if, what if my point was here? Well, I know the distance from here and there, and the distance from to this foci, and the distance to th that foci is going to equal those two distances as well. And that's where we get the distance of our 2a also works as well. But the main important thing I want you guys, or that's how you guys can see that these two distances is the same as these two distances. So therefore, the, what I'm trying to make you guys understand is the relationship between a squared b or a, b, and c is right there. Because this distance from here to here, which we figured out, right, that's equal to my a being from the distance from the center to here. Okay, that's why I can call it my, that's why I call it the a. Um, that's why I chose a to be my value because that distance this distance is the same thing as being able to pick my A from my vertex to my um, center as I solve for it. Kind of. Go through. OK? Yes? Any questions? No? So you guys are going to want to make sure that you at least understand the definition, but then be able to understand this formula for you. So right now, 